welcome to the first video, sorry, of the first section, which is an introduction to discrete mathematics. And I'm going to start this off by explaining what discrete mathematics is. And the best way to explain what discrete mathematics is, is by comparing it to continuous mathematics. So as you can see here, uh, discrete mathematics is mathematics that deals with distinct values. So for example, it's 1 or 2 or 3 or 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So basically, the best way to, di to, to distinguish between it and in continuous mathematics is that in discrete mathematics, if you take any two values, like for example, let's say we're working with whole numbers. So if I take the values 5 and 7, we know that there is a limited number of values between them, which is 6. There is only one value between them. However, if we take any two values in continuous mathematics, like even if you take 0.9999999 and 1, there is still an infinity of numbers between them. And that's the difference between continuous mathematics and discrete mathematics. In discrete mathematics, we talk about certain values that we are working with, that we define from the beginning. So for example, I'm only going to be working with the values 1, 2, 3, or I'm only going to be working with the values A, B, C, etc. But in continuous mathematics, we work with uh, the continuous real number line. So basically, it is an infinity of numbers, and even between any two numbers, there is another infinity of numbers. So, uh, another way that I like to explain the difference between continuous mathematics and discrete mathematics is... Okay, so they both... We're both going to deal with numbers here. And so let's say you want to deal with water. And there are two types of water. Well, there are more than two types of water, but let's say these two types. That we have water and ice cubes. And I like to, to explain the difference between discrete mathematics and continuous mathematics as the difference between pouring a specific amount of water and putting a specific amount of ice cubes. Uh, I guess, I, I'm sure you can guess which is the discrete and which is the continuous, because no matter how hard you try, uh, between every two amounts of water, you can still pour another amount of water in between them. So if you have this much water and this much water, there's still an infinite amount of, of, of water that you can pour here. Uh, you could like cut it down to the tiniest of drops. Uh, however, in ice cubes, you only have one ice cube, two ice cube, three ice cubes. You have, you can't put uh, 3.56667, something like that, ice cubes. You have one ice cube, two ice cube. You can cut an ice cube in half if you really want to, but generally we deal with whole ice cubes. Uh, this isn't to say, of course, that discrete math only works with, uh, with the whole numbers, but it does work with distinct values like I've said before. Uh, one example, the reason actually why we're talking about discrete mathematics and not continuous mathematics is that everything in computers, so programming, has to do with uh, discrete mathematics. Uh, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you've heard this before, computers are just a bunch of zeros and ones. And if you may have noticed, those are two values. So it's either zero or one. So in computers, we are always dealing with discrete mathematics. And that's why it's so important to get to know discrete mathematics uh, before, uh, before jumping into uh, programming. Uh, so in this, in this little video, um, what I hope you've learned is the difference between discrete and continuous mathematics, as well as why discrete mathematics is important in programming. Thank you.